Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to add steps in the end or the middle of a Power Query. So let's start. So I've got this Power Query open here with me and I could go and reference any of them but we'll just uh, use Dim Customer for this example. And what I'll do is I'll uh, filter uh, out non-null titles. So I'll just do that. So I'll just say give me all the names where the title is not null. And I'll also now go to the right and uh, maybe remove the name style, remove this column. So I'll just remove this column as well. So you can see that uh, I've added a few steps towards the end. And you can see these steps being added here by going to the view tab and clicking on advanced editor. And you can see that it's added these steps. And I'll just cancel this for now. And you can remove them by clicking on this button as well. Um, so now we are here. And now we let's say I want to add a step in the middle. So it's it's tricky though sometimes because you can uh, break what is already working for you. So let's say I uh, go over here and from here if I remove a column or do something which is being referenced in another step after that it will uh, create problems. So for example let's just go back to here and I'm using filter on title. So if I go and remove this column, so if I were to go and remove this column, so it says are you sure you want to insert a step? Inserting a step can affect subsequent steps and could cause your query to break, and which is possible. So now you, you can see it's it's working fine till here, but when I come to filtered rows, because the, this is referencing the previous column that we've removed, it is throwing an error for us. So in this video, we've essentially covered uh, how to um, add a step to a power query in the middle or in the end. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.